Last week I participated to the GeoGen 2022 hosted by fellow game dev YouTuber and cartoon man Icoso. The GeoGem, as the each page says, is a 72 hour game jam focused on geometric shapes. This means that all the art must be made up of basic objects such as squares, triangles, circles, rectangles, so on. There's even a voting parameter based on geometricness, which is totally a made up word but you get the gist. Hey, this is Post Editing Fabulous here to tell you that I actually won the Game Jam in the Geometric Nest category. The results just came out and that that's cool. I'll put it in the title or something. Yeah. Okay, I'll go back to editing. Uh, enjoy the video. Bye-bye. This Jam's theme was called Pick a Side. And I'll be honest with you, I absolutely love it. As soon as I read it, I immediately got lots of ideas of games I could make. After some thinking, I came up with this concept. A game where the player has to draw a specific shape and then literally has to pick a side of it. First, the player has to make a polygon with three sides, then one with four sides, then five, six, seven, eight, etc. And after drawing each one of them, he has to pick one of the sides, either the longest or the shortest one. This seemed like an interesting game idea, but I wasn't 100% on board with it until I found out there's a shape called Icosagon. Yes, you heard that right, Icosagon the Icoso Polygon. That's a real thing, look it up. When I did find out about this, I knew I just had to make this game, so I jumped into Unity and I started working on the first core element, the Shape Creator. At this stage, I used a tool called Line Renderer, which automatically draws segments between two or more points by connecting them with each other. In order to let the player create his own polygons, I made a script, which assigns a new point to the Line Renderer at the cursor's position every time the left mouse button gets clicked on like this. To figure out what type of polygon I just drew, I simply have to count how many vertices the shape has. If it has 3 vertices, then it's a triangle. If it has 4, it's a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral? 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 5 pentagon, 6 hexagon, so on. Oh, and I also made a custom cursor with a very satisfying click sound effect. This doesn't change anything in the game, but I thought it was cool. So far, so good. However, there are still three major issues we have to deal with. First of all, the shape creator can't recognize dots or repeating segments. This means that if we create three vertices on top of each other, the game will think we made a triangle, because the line renderer technically has three points. In reality, however, since those points are at the same position, we only have a dot. And the same thing happens if we decide to put the third vertex on top of the first one. The script will think we drew a triangle when in reality we made a line. Fixing this is actually pretty straightforward. I just have to keep track of the first three vertices positions. If all of them are at the same place, we made a dot. If only two of them are, we made a line. And if they're all at different positions, we have a triangle. The second issue is that the shape creator doesn't know how to deal with overlapping vertices. It can recognize them, but it will think we added a new side to the polygon, even though that's not true. To fix this, I decided to go with a very tough approach by simply making the player lose the game anytime he draws an overlapping vertex. I went with this decision because there's really no way making an overlapping vertex can ever be useful throughout the game. The third and last bug is by far the one I had the most trouble fixing. But before I talk about it, I have to make a premise about polygons. Polygons can either be simple or complex. The main difference between them is that simple polygons, like these, do not have self-intersecting sides, while complex polygons, like these, do. Following me here? I'm getting to the point. I want the player to only draw simple polygons, because they look better, <laughs> but at the moment we have no way to figure out if the polygon we made is a simple or a complex one. Basically, we have to find a way to recognize when two sides intersect, so we can tell if the player drew a complex shape or a simple one. And in case you're wondering, no, there's not a function in the line renderer that does this automatically. That would have saved me so much time. The first idea I had in mind was adding an edge collider to the shape, hoping it would get triggered when the sides intersect with each other. This, however, didn't work at all. <laughs> So I thought, hey, let's use a polygon collider instead of an edge collider, because we're making polygons, so polygon collider has to work. And it didn't work either, because a collider simply cannot trigger itself. So I completely ditched the collider idea and I tried a different, more mathematical approach. 
I decided to use an algorithm that, given two segments, is able to tell if they intersect with each other or not. For example, given the segment A and given the segment B, the intersection point is C, or given the segments X and Y, the intersection point is null, because they don't intersect. That way, I can tell if the shape is a simple one by making sure there are zero intersecting points between the left side the player drew and all the other ones. Only small problem is I am way too stupid to write an algorithm like this on my own, and the game jam clock is ticking, so I can't afford to lose time on this. Fortunately, I found an amazing article on this website that does exactly what I had in mind, providing all the code with an extremely clear explanation. And this worked perfectly, so after some good old shameless copy and paste, we now have a fully functioning shape creator that keeps track of dots, lines, overlapping vertices and self-intersecting sides. Great! That's it for phase 1 of the gameplay, now let's move on to phase 2, aka let the player pick a side. But first I need you to subscribe. You... you subscribed? Sure you did? You subscribed? Letting the player pick a side was a bit trickier to implement than I anticipated, mostly because there is absolutely no way to achieve this by only using the line renderer. The problem we have is, in order to make the sides of the shape selectable, each one of them has to be its own game object, with its own collider and widget body. At this stage, since we're using the line renderer, all the lines are attached to one game object, so it's impossible for us to select any single one of them. What I decided to do in the end was making my own line renderer. I made a function in my shape creator script called create line, which creates a new game object with a 2D mesh every time the player creates a new vertex. This might seem like a useless thing to do because apparently it behaves exactly like the line renderer, but it's not. You see, the lines I make with my own renderer are all separate game objects with their own colliders and this allows me to make them selectable by calling a trigger every time the mouse cursor gets on top of them. This is basically how the whole thing works. When the game starts, it will ask you to draw a certain shape. Once you've done that, the sides will become selectable and you'll be able to pick one of them by hovering the cursor over them and by clicking the left mouse button. To make this clear from a visual standpoint, I also made sure the color of the line changes from white to orange when the mouse is over it, to green when the player picks the correct side, and to red when it picks the wrong side. If the selected line is the longest one, the player will move on to the next shape, until he finally creates an icosagon, which is a polygon with 20 sides. And also the icoso polygon. You remember that? I, I said it at the beginning. Yeah. When that happens, the text will say congratulations, you won the game, along with some cool sound effects of a cheering crowd, for some reason, I guess. Like this. When I started making this game, I wanted to ask the player to randomly pick either the longest, the shortest, the second longest or the second shortest side of the shape in order to add some variation to the gameplay. Unfortunately, I only had enough time to implement the first one of these and as a result, I think the game definitely lacks in gameplay and might get a bit repetitive after a while. I also wanted to do other cool stuff like displaying the length of the lines when the picking phase is over, adding some nice background music, making a main menu, adding some options, adding more sound effects, but to be honest, I didn't feel like spending the entire 72 hours grinding and I was perfectly fine with what I had by the end. So after some quick play testing, I built the WebGL version of the game, I made a cover in Photoshop by turning the Icoso YouTube channel into an Icosagon and uploaded the game to itch.io. I've had a lot of fun during this jam as I've said, I think the game lacks a bit in gameplay and could be way more polished than this and better overall, but I'm really glad I experimented with a concept that is original and different from the usual 2D platformer clones with the same old mechanics that I've already made like a, a thousand times. If you got this far, chances are you like this video at least a little bit, because why would you be here otherwise? So subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated on my future devlogs, drop a comment, leave a like, share the video, buy me pizza, send me money, check out Icoso, he has a very good YouTube channel that I've been following for a while, and thanks for watching, here are some, some videos you, you should see. Okay, bye.